a car out of one. I pray this devil died and did every evil thing the Lord got to get. And listen, I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Call me out, Call me out, Call me out, I know you look at us in the state we in right now, black people on drugs, and we suffering and dying. And I know it seems like you can do whatever you want to this people. I know it seems like this, but the time for glorifying yourself is soon at an end. Jeremiah 28 and 7. Jeremiah 28 and 7. Read. Nevertheless, 20, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. So, the prophets in the past. Jeremiah is talking about the prophets in the past. Now, he's going to explain what the prophets in the past, what their job was, what they used to do. Read. Pro prophesied both. Against many countries. They prophesied against what? Many countries. Against lots of countries. So, for instance, we over here prophesying. We doing what the prophets in the past used to do too. Against lots of countries. Read on. And against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms. Over here, we in a great kingdom too. So we are doing the work that the prophets used to do in the past time. That's right. Read. Of war! Of what? Of war! Of love! Of war! No, um, and, no, no, um, of hugs! Of war! Of war! Prophets in the past used to talk about war. Any prophet out here, or, 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 or any man that claims to be a prophet talking about love is not a prophet of God. That's right! We just read right there. The prophets of the past went against great kingdoms and spoke of war. Read! And of evil. And of what? And of evil. And of love. And of evil. And of evil. Because why? In the Bible, if you don't follow God's laws, you are going to die. That's right. That's found in the Bible. So evil is coming. Why? Because they don't want to follow the laws of God. Keep on reading. And of pestilence. And of pestilence. A lackage of supplies. There's going to come a time where you can't eat and you can't drink. Pestilence is coming. And prophets of God that read the Bible, they understood. That. Hence why us at the ICPK, we are speaking the same things that the prophets in the past time spoke of also as well. Uh, read on. The prophet we prophesy of peace. The prophet which does what? Prophesy of peace. So the prophet we prophesy of peace. Read. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass. So if the word of the prophet comes to pass, this is how you're going to find out if that prophet is sent from God or is not white. Because if that word comes to pass, read. Then shall the prophet be known. Then shall what? The, the prophet, prophet be known. known. He shall be known to be a prophet of God. So any prophet talking about peace, and it don't come to pass. Guess what? That is not a prophet of God. That's right. That man is a liar because we just read in the verse above, the prophet spoke of war and of death. Why? Because that is in the Bible. From there, give me Ezekiel chapter 1 and verse 9. So now, let's get Ezekiel 1 and 9. Let's see if these prophets of God so we spoke about love. We're going to find out. Read that for me. Ezekiel 1 and 9. Their wings were joined. Ezekiel 2 and 9. Ezekiel 2 and 9. And when I looked, behold, and a hand was sent unto me. So now, this is the hand of God. So now, the hand of God is sending this prophet something. We're going to find out while it was read. And lo, a roll of a book. A what? A roll of a book. And the roll of a book in this Bible is the word of God. So Ezekiel, he also had the Bible. Ezekiel, the prophet, a black man also, he had the word of God too. Read. Was therein? And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. So, within and without means on the inside and on the outside. So, on this book, it was written on the inside and on the outside too. Read. And there was written therein lamentations. There was written what? Lamentations. A lamentation is when you're crying. 
So within that book, they was written crying, a time coming when people are going to cry. That's found in the Bible. Any prophet talking of love is a lie because the prophet Ezekiel, he was given the word of God and there was that lamentation written out in the Bible, a time when people are going to be crying, redone. And mourning! And what? And mourning! And mourning when you're also very upset to read. And woe! And woe, woe means destruction. So the prophet Ezekiel, he also received, he also read the book and destruction, wasn't it? So any prophet out here talking about love and peace, they're liars because we just read them right here. There was woes written out in the Bible too. Um, from there, give me, so from there, give Matthew 10 and verse 34. Now, we're gonna get the words of Christ, the greatest man towards the earth. Let's see if he was talking about any prophet in the Bible. Talks about love. We're gonna find that. You got that? Matthew 10 and verse 34. Matthew 10, 34. Read. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Oh well, man, um, read that again. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. So Christ, the best, the best prophet in the Bible. Said, Think not that what he has done, done what? Not come to send peace on earth. So Christ said as own words, peace. He's not bringing on the earth. He's bringing death and destruction. So anyone here telling you about peace and your love is a liar. That's right. That's not our words. That's found in the Bible. Read us, read it. If you got a problem with us, you go, you. If you got um, a problem with us, elaine with us, it's with the word of God. Right. You need to take it up with God. Read that again from the top. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Christ said, don't think I'm come to send peace on earth. Christ, the best prophet, the last prophet found in the Bible. Peace is not coming on the earth. Any Bible, it's like anyone is teaching you about like him, it's going to be of like him, hugs, love, he's a liar, and that's found in the Bible. Right. You reading? I come not to send peace, but a sword. But a what? But a sword. But a sword. I think about it, a sword. What does a sword do? A sword destroys someone. Right. If I put a sword and cut your head up, you're going to know that that's not, I'm loving it. Yeah, because it's true. Not saying, not talking about, I would do that. But you know, I was giving you an example. A sword is an instrument of war. A sword brings death. So Christ is to bring a sword. Reeves, not a weapon. I am not come to send peace, but a sword. Christ and come said peace, but a sword. So from there, give me Ezekiel 33 and the seven chapters. Ezekiel 33 and the seven chapters. Yeah, verse seven. Ezekiel 33 and seven. Read. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. We are a watchman unto who? The house of Israel. We are watchmen unto the house of Israel. If you're under sign, this applies to you. Meaning, us at the ISU UK, we are watchmen unto you. We're telling you all the coming and the events, all the destruction that is about to come. We're going in the Bible and we're bringing it out. So we are watchmen unto the house of Israel. Not unto, not, not unto everybody. We are bringing out the word of God. Specifically, exclusively, unto the people and the sign. That's right. Not unto everyone. Read that again from the top. Thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So there, we are watchmen unto these people. So anyone else, it's just not for you. You know, it's just the way your life, you know. You have your goods and your bads, and that's just uh, your bad. That's right. Um, continue reading. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth. So when um, we do what? Hear the word at my mouth. So we hear the word out of the mouth of God, which is found in the Bible, and we warn you about the up and coming events. Read. And warn them from me. And we warn them from God. We're not going back now, we warn you from God, not according to us. Who cares what um, uh, we think? So we're going to go in the Bible and warn you from the word of God. Read. When I say unto the wicked, O oh, wicked man, thou shalt surely die. That's what we're doing. We were here telling you the wicked of the people on this side, the wicked of the Israelites, if they don't change and submit themselves unto God and follow the laws, statutes and commandments, they are going to die. And that's the always we were just reading that right now out of the Bible. Read on. If thou does not speak toward the wicked from his way, that the wicked man shall die in his iniquity, read on. But his blood will I require at thine hand. And then 
that's the problem. The first time the ice you became, we don't want the black side to it. Your blood is going to be on the hands of us. And guess what? We don't want that. Hence why we right here now telling you to change and telling you that we should tell you that death and destruction is coming and you're going to fall into it if you do not change. That's right. And that's found in the Bible. We done. Nevertheless, if thou wert the wicked of his way. So now, if we do want a wicked Israelite of his way, we done. To turn from it. To turn from it. Tell him to stop taking drugs. Or anything else contrary in the Bible, we tell him to turn away from that. We, if he do not turn away, so if he don't turn away, meaning he rejects anything that we say, we done from his way. He shall die in his iniquity. Uh, what did the Bible say? He shall die in his iniquity. So in things he's doing, he's going to die in there if he don't change. But a uh, read on. But thou has delivered thy soul. We have delivered our soul. Why? Because we want a man and he didn't change. Hence why we out here right now tell him, wicked of our people, you must return and you must follow the laws, statutes and those commandments. Manhood.